I, I don't like to use the word bottom of the pyramid. I like to say disenfranchised. This is a, you know, somebody's written, I forgot the name, Selden or something, a professor at Harvard, who's just written a book about the haves and have-nots and how the haves not should not believe that they are, they are so brilliant that they got there. Hey, you know, it's just a matter of you are lucky. So by lucky by birth, lucky by many other things. So, so the point basically what you're asking me is, if you look at the healthcare uh, scenario or stack for any country, we are in a place where we are actually trying to do intervention at every level and say, there's a fire burning here, let's do this. This, this is happening, let's do this. But unless you plan from bottom to the top, and when I mean top, bottom to the top is not economic, it is the fundamental, India has very poor hygiene at the ground level, very poor sanitation. If we correct that, and whether it takes it be a big priority, what we call Swachh Bharat, we would have disease, decreased the disease burden by 30 to 40 percent. That frees up a huge capacity then. Because if you look at the bed occupancy of government hospitals, a large proportion of these people are suffering from infective diseases. So we have a double burden. We have, we have communicable disease and we have uh, the lifestyle, uh, lifestyle diseases. Sure. If we if we take one eye on the on the communicable diseases and actually concentrate, I'm sure in the next three to five years we could eliminate a large proportion of it. Because when we were determined, you know, we did away with polio because the whole country was mobilized for it. We have not done that. There are two government schemes, Swachh Bharat and Swast Bharat, but they have no connection with each other. And then there is Ayushman. So we need to merge all this and say, first thing first, prevention of disease. Second is early detection of disease. If we can early detect it, we can save huge amount of resources because then you would not be so sick that you will need tertiary care and big operations and stuff like that. And then you have a system which guides everybody from bottom up to the right facility. So that it's not like everybody who gets sick and reaches or uh, institute or some hospital because they don't know where to go and they don't, they're not sure they'll get the right treatment for what they have. And the basic problem is they are too sick by the time they realize they're that sick or they've been bounced around by the local quack and then they have to run someplace. So I think that we should address this whole in a very holistic global manner. If we can do that, and you know, while we are doing all this uh, fixing along the way, I mean, uh, there are some schemes, there are this, there are that, with the dialogue going on, there is a lot of suspicion between private and public sector providers. We need to, we need to actually, and, and you are very well suited actually, to do a real string from bottom up to say, this policy, this is what India needs to do. And if I can give you some inputs, I'll be very happy because we debate it every day. So on one hand, we are doing what we can to, to fix the situation in the immediate term. But the I should be the five-year plan to make India's healthcare system so robust that it becomes an example to four billion people around us who are in the same situation. That would be the soft power of India. India can actually take the lead of creating a system where people, countries can follow us and actually let them benefit from what we, what we create. So that's, you have the brains, we will, we have the ground reality. So if you like anything, we can, we can always, always uh, 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 share the information with you or assist you or whatever you like.